Well, it's, it's really hard to believe that uh, we two venerable gentlemen, it's almost 50 years now since we first walked along this path. At the head of the valleys were this multitude of great peaks, and of course towering above a lot of them was Mount Everest. And I must admit that George and I were hoping to get the opportunity to get the grips with the mountain and maybe have a chance to actually reach the summit. Yes, so I suppose we were in, I was in my late 20s, Ed was in his early 30s, and the spring in our step was very great. There was a, a feeling that, this, that the time had now come that the mountain was going to be climbed. George Lowe and my father were incredibly good friends. Dad just loved George's sense of humour. I, I think George kept Dad laughing the whole time during those early expeditions. But I think importantly, George and Dad um, had a great depth of um, alpine skills. And I think George and Dad really were fundamentally essential on the expedition. George had, uh, had many important roles on Mount Everest. Uh, he worked on establishing the route up the Lochi face. Uh, he uh, led uh, my team, uh, Tenzing and myself, uh, up uh, high on the southeast ridge uh, to establish our final camp. My ambition had always been that George and I uh, would be the summit pair, but that was not to be. Uh, but George had made his big contribution and helped uh, put us in place and Tenzing and I carried on and finally reached the summit of the world. the expedition's leader. It said that Mr. E.P. Hillary, a New Zealander, and Tenzing Bhutia, a Sherpa, had reached the summit last Friday, May 29th. Message added, all is well. Well, we climbed Everest and we left the region, not knowing if we'd ever return not knowing that for me, Everest would be a stepping stone to something far more satisfying right here within its valley. And never in my wildest dreams could I ever have imagined that here I'd be in my 80th year being flown in by a Sherpa helicopter pilot back to the very place where this most satisfying 40 years of my life began. If we could do something, what should it be? And they all agreed that the most important thing was to have a school in Kumjong village. And so the school was built.
We built the Komjong School and uh, got it rolling. And I really thought that was going to be the end of it. But uh, that was not to be the case. We had petitions from villagers many days walk away. The monks helped a young lad of 10 with this petition written in Tibetan script. Uh, and it, in it, it said, we have eyes but cannot see. We have ears and cannot hear. Will you help us to have a school? There's a big world outside, in effect, was what they were saying. Can you help us? And can you help us meant, will you help us to have a school and make sense of the things that are going to happen to us? So we built that school too. And now, heaven's alive, we've established and we maintain and support more than 30 schools in the Solo Kumbu area. And so it happened that here, amongst the people of Everest, almost by chance, I'd found a new vocation. Working side by side with my Sherpa friends, wielding hammers now, not ice axes, fashioning the rocks we used to climb into schoolhouse walls. On behalf of the Himalayan Trust and all those who have helped uh, build this uh, school, I have much pleasure now in uh, declaring the school open. <laughs>